What's up, Vital listeners? We are currently in Scotts Valley, California at the Fox Factory headquarters checking out their model year 2025 suspension products. And we are here with Bill Brown, who is the head of engineering at Fox, to run us through the overarching goals and changes of the latest product line. Bill, thank you for chatting with us today. Absolutely. Let's start from 10,000 feet above and just go through what's changed and what were what you guys were looking to improve um, and from maybe say focusing more on dampers and kind of starting there. Yeah, that'll be easy because dampers were our main focus. Pretty much every fork is getting a new damper for model year 25. Cross country, Grip SL, um, trail bikes with Grip X and uh, gravity bikes with Grip X2. And the learnings that we've put into those dampers, we've also trickled into our grip um, for like rhythm performance series forks and uh, the rail damper that is found in a lot of the Marzocchi products. So across the board, all of our forks uh, are receiving either a new damper or a nice upgrade in the performance of an existing damper. With those three new grip dampers, can you just run us through kind of the details of each and how they've been optimized for their respected riding disciplines and chassis? Sure. Um, you know, the goal with those uh, three new dampers, not only to bring additional damping support and control to the front end of a bike, but do so in a way that doesn't add or actually even reduces the harshness of the, the fork um, and doesn't sacrifice the sensitivity of it. Each damper though is kind of tailored towards the discipline it's meant to support. So on like the Grip SL damper, balancing its performance with also the requirement for it to be really lightweight because that's super important to the cross country crowd. That fork's gotta be light. The damper's a big part of the weight of the fork. So trying to make a damper that's really light but also performs really well was a driving objective for that Grip SL damper. Because of that, it looks really different than the other dampers. Uh, it's, it's got a smaller comp um, pressure tube, it's got an 8 millimeter shaft, but it uses the same compression piston, the same base piston as Grip X and Grip X2. Um, and it's also based on uh, spring-backed IFP, so it's no longer a bladder like Fit4 was. Grip X2, pure gravity performance. Right? We didn't set out to build a heavy damper but weight wasn't really a driving, motivating factor for the design of that damper. It was ultimate descending performance and adjustability. Um, so it maintains high and low speed compression, maintains high and low speed rebound adjustment. But on compression, it, it's accomplishing it in a, in a different way than what GRIP2 did. The GRIP X2 damper uh, does away with the variable valve control on compression. We keep it on high speed rebound because it's really effective on that circuit. Um, but we replace it on compression, on high speed compression, uh, with a more traditional uh, shim stack and preload spring. And it's a base valve design that we adopted from our power sports uh, division. They, they use it on a lot of their off-road race vehicles. The other thing that's new in the Grip X2 damper is how we're dividing damping on compression between the base valve and the mid valve. We're actually achieving more compression damping at the mid valve than we were doing with GRIP2. That's helped us on the response time of that damper. And it's the response time of that damper that helps with the additional support without the harshness. The faster a damper can respond, the more damping it can produce without it feeling harsh. And that was a main focus on all three of the dampers, and we took it to a very extreme with Grip X2. Grip X sits in the middle because trail bikes kind of sit in the middle, right? You want a bike that you can, at least for me, that I can pedal for four hours. It's kind of my limit. Um, and, uh, and still confidently descend on. On trails that sometimes I would be riding a, a longer travel bike on, but you know, I, I need that light weight, like a lot of riders do. I need that bike to be as light as possible because I want to go for a really long ride. So Grip X kind of strikes that balance between weight and performance. We don't really sacrifice performance compared to Grip X2 with Grip X, but we take some weight out of it 
and, uh, and do so uh, by removing some adjustability. You want to run us through just which four chassis have which dampers and how you guys have kind of decided, you know, between 32, 34, 36, 38, 40, which dampers kind of end up in each. I know it's, it's more obvious on each end, but what happens with like 34 and 36? Yeah, the, the middle kind of blurs a little bit, um, and that's, that's somewhat intentional because those, you know, that 34 and the 36, you can build varying bikes with those forks. Like I, a 34 and a 36, you can get a Grip X or a Grip X2, whatever your preference is. It's not up to us to say how your bike should ride. We want to be able to support your vision for, for the bike that you want to build and how you want to ride. Got you. So if... Uh... If you have the choice between Grip X and Grip X2, I think a lot of riders might see that you have a little bit more adjustability with the X2 and just assume it's more high performance, it's better, it's the premium product. But it sounds like a lot of that comes down to them observing what type of riding they're doing. Weight's also probably one of the leading factors in that. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. What's gonna happen with Grip 2 and Fit 4? Is there, does it, continue to live on any products? No, those those two dampers are gonna to no longer continue in production. Okay. We'll continue to support them in the field. Um, like all of our Fox product, it's serviceable for, I don't think actually we've ever stopped servicing anything. We get some really old suspension back sometimes and still find a way to service it with parts. So um, we'll continue to service those products, um, but they're no longer gonna be produced by our factory.